Every day since November 1998, the International Space Station has been orbiting the Earth at a speed of 28,000 kilometers per hour. Having spent several months on board the International Space Station, the time has come for three of its crew members to travel back to Earth. The return journey aboard a Soyuz capsule takes three and a half hours. Docking. The crew commander issues the command to open the Soyuz hooks. These are the only mechanical devices holding the vehicles together. After approximately three to four minutes, the hooks are fully opened and the Soyuz is no longer firmly attached to the station. A set of pushers that were kept mechanically compressed while docked gently ease the Soyuz away from the station at a relative speed of 12 to 15 centimeters per second. Undocking confirmed at 9.56 p.m. Central Time. Being so close to the station, the Soyuz propulsion system is inhibited in order to avoid contamination of the station with residual chemical dust produced by the Soyuz thrusters. The crew gets visual confirmation of the separation through the image provided by the external TV camera and also from indications displayed on their monitors. The Soyuz now at an altitude of 1,300 meters, all of its systems uh, performing normally. Again, uh, extremely overcast at the landing site and frigid temperatures of around 12 degrees Fahrenheit with a wind chill factor around zero Fahrenheit. Soyuz Commander Yuri Malenchenko uh, reported uh, that at the time of maximum G-forces, uh, the gravitational pull on the crew reached about 4.3 Gs uh, during maximum G-load that occurred at uh, 7.36 p.m. Central Time. Less than uh, 1,000 meters now for the Soyuz until its touchdown point to the northeast of Arkaluk. Across 900 meters, 850.
So he was drifting under a thick deck of clouds at its landing site, standing by for confirmation of touchdown. This is Mission Control Houston, touchdown confirmed. Expedition 33 is home. Sonny Williams, Yuri Malenchenko, Aki Hoshide, touching down northeast of Arkalek at 7.56 p.m. Central Time. That's the unofficial touchdown time. 7.56 a.m. Kazakhstan time on Monday morning. The crew is home. Sonny Williams uh, now uh, in this video replay being extracted uh, from the left seat as the board engineer from the Soyuz vehicle. Control, good view of Sonny Williams uh, in frigid temperatures uh, right outside of uh, the spacecraft. It was an expedited uh, extract. Sonny Williams uh, wrapping up uh, her second flight into space and a total of 322 days in space on her two missions. She conducted three spacewalks. This is Mission Control Houston. We're now getting live video of the uh, crew. Cheers going up from the flight control team here at Mission Control.